78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC, uh, Lions Den basketball community in this case. But smash the like button, hit the subscribe. Also, turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. Real quickly, y'all, you know Cam and Mace have done wonders. Um, the way they have turned this thing around for, the, for each other is amazing. Proud of them. Um, coming from hip-hop and everything they come from to now just sign this huge deal for their podcast, talking sports online, while also being able to mix in um, their personal life and stories and how they came up. It's just it's a perfect recipe for a successful podcast, you know what I mean? And it's authentic. Now, everybody's not happy for them, though. You know, uh, it's, there's always competition out there. There's haters. Melissa Ford, who's a part of the Joe Budden podcast, um, Melissa Ford um, took issue recently with some, a story that Cameron told about back in the day when him and Mace were youngsters and, um, you know, they had just started getting money really in the hip hop thing. And um, they had went out and um, it was at this uh, 304 house, right? So they, they was at this brothel, I guess, you know what I'm saying? And they took one of the chicks with them and um, went to the spot with her, went to the house, brought her back to the crib, whatever. And they told the story, a funny story about how, uh, you know, we all had to go listen to it. I don't want to repeat it. But basically, you know, they, they ran a train on the chick, I guess, right? Now, Melissa Ford, responding to that viral story, uh, this is what some of what she had to say. Just read the f***ing, considering what just came down the pipeline, all these sexual harassment and assault lawsuits and stuff like that, this was, this wasn't even in poor taste. This was just potentially you might get, be getting yourself in trouble is the, is there is there a distinct possibility that there may have been underage girls in that uh, okay so you see what she threw out there she threw out the possibility that could there have been underage girls there where that came from is just unbelievable you know what i'm saying that's that's some hater talk right there that's somebody who you're not looking out for nobody you're trying to get somebody in trouble right now you're you're saying because of all these fraudulent lawsuits and stuff like that that's coming out, now she's hoping that because these dudes just got a bag, that uh, by them telling these stories, it's going to be women from their past that come out and try to get a bag. And this is so disgusting. It's just so, but this is Melissa Ford being who she is. You see, she can't help it. Even though she's on a successful podcast herself, even though she no longer has to take her clothes off to make money anymore, she still can't shake that 304 mentality. She still can't shake it. She still see a bag. She still counts somebody else's money. Right? She's still rooting for the 304 in the street. Oh, I want her to get the bag. Oh, no. They got to come out here. No. See, this is how they move. It's, this is so sad. It really is. I hope Cameron and Mace don't end up in no mess behind. But Cameron and Mace did respond to her. <laughs> and they let her have it. <laughs> Basically, just said you know you don't want the type of problems in your life. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Go in peace. You don't want that type of smoke. They called her thirsty and stuff like that, saying that she was uh, basically looking for some attention. And I agree 120. You know what I'm saying? For all the stuff Melissa Ford was out here doing uh, uh, for attention back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Like, relax, lady, relax. You know what I mean? To just Throw that out there. Ain't nobody said nothing about no underage people. She just threw something like that out there. Then later on admit that she'd never even been to, supposedly, according to her, she'd never been to a 304 house, a brothel. So how do you even know what goes on up in there? How would you know what goes on up in there? She full of it. She threw that out there in case uh, sponsors, some authorities, Somebody try to, uh, you know, slow down the rise of uh, Cam and Mace's podcast uh, because it's reaching a lot of people. It blew up real quick, and uh, they're trying to put some water on it. I'm telling you right now, they're trying to throw some water on it. But that's just my two cents. Y'all let me know what y'all think. 78 Sports TV, salute to the mighty ODBC. I'm about to hit those deuces.